What I've been fighting with recently on this Saturn project is the carbon on these pistons. I've been trying to clean the carbon off. I've tried using old piston rings to scrape out the grooves. I've tried using uh, brake cleaner, carburetor cleaner. I bought this Berryman's B12 because it says on it, removes carbon, so I thought maybe if I soaked it in there it would soften it. It didn't. I soaked soaked a piston in there for upwards of a week and it didn't seem to make any difference. The carbon was still hard and I couldn't get it off. So I got this. This cost about 30 bucks and it says the good stuff. So maybe that means that it's going to do the job. Um, on the box here it says that it carbon residue on valves, pistons, and other engine parts may require longer cleaning times. So to me that means it's made to do this job. It's even got a picture of a piston and a valve and all that good stuff. So I'm going to give this a shot and hopefully it'll work out and I can move on with this project. Everything I've read seems to indicate this is some pretty nasty stuff. A friend of mine who used some said to do it outside for sure. I've got my goggles on. Well, it has a basket in it. For dipping small parts. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piston, which I already did quite a bit of manual cleaning on, and see if it can get the residual carbon out of the ring grooves that I wasn't able to get. Okay, it's been in here for roughly half an hour right now. So I can see it did remove the carbon that was around there. I can see inside the ring grooves, they do look cleaner. I still see some carbon deposits, but let's dip them and dip it and see what we... This is just water. Well, the middle groove, which is the one I was having trouble with, is looking better. It's still got some junk in it. Let me see if it's softer now. I'm going to get a piece of a piston ring and see if I can scrape that any easier than before. So now that I've rinsed this thoroughly with water, so now I'm taking a piece of a piston ring and I'm going to try to scrape in this groove. And you can see the carbon has turned soft and it's peeling up out of there. So it's actually coming out. If I soak it longer I bet it'll... I bet it would all dissolve. So I just did some more scraping and the... I got some more of it to peel out of there. I'm almost down to the bottom. So it seems like this stuff is working. It softens up the top layer to where I can scrape it off down to hardness again and then put it back in to soak a while longer and it'll soften the next layer. So I'm going to put it back in. Probably if I let it just soak for hours it would probably clean the whole thing off without any scraping. Well, I put it back in here and I forgot about it for about an hour and a half. And it looks pretty good. I can see a few small spots in the some of the grooves that I need to 
scrape out, but I'm willing to bet they're pretty darn soft and they'll probably come out really easy. So all in all, I'd say this product seems to work pretty good. I tried quite a few different products before it, didn't get any results at all. This one, it obviously dissolves carbon and it does a pretty good job at it.